happy day. Happy yes, it is a happy, blessed Sabbath of the Lord. It was, is, and is yet to do good things unto us. I invite the church to rise up and we have our song of worship to, us, to usher us into the sermon. 256 in bridge, 159 STA. That is the old rugged cross. Just 
Siapa naik dia? Anda At the end of the day, the rich want to maintain their richness. But again, the poor are trying very hard to get that richness from them. Now that's a sign that tells you that life is full of trouble. Life is full of trouble. You have to struggle. I'm sure all of you here, we are here because maybe our parents, some of us, they support us. Some of you work. But now, living a, a life of purpose and ministry tribulation. And I want us to look at... Um, Living life of purpose. Now, in John chapter 15, verse 8, Jesus made it clear that if the world hates you, know that it has hated me first. If you were of the world, the world would have loved, would love you as its own. But because you are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, therefore the world does what? You wake up and you come tell me they have chucked me. It is true they have chucked you because the world is not there to love you. You have to accept if, if Jesus Christ, the son, the real son of God was hated, how about you? You have to be chucked. And now when you come and then, you know, sometimes I come, I meet like Max and I'm like, you see, that church I've seen a girl. And uh, how do you know about her? She would, do you know how she would tell her? <laughs> Will you afford? And that's it. in that statement, there is a meaning that if I'm incapable, I won't make it. There is a trouble there. And uh, if they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept my word, they will keep yours. Amen? We are sure about what is going on in the world. Was day and night. We are sure of whatever. People you go, we were in your door. You reach out to them, hello, we are greeting. Uh, we have uh, a TMI in Banda, and we are calling you to come and be with us. The gentleman come, comes first. Mm -hmm. What is in Banda TMI? Do you think I don't have a religion? As a first question. He's like, no, you can come and join us and we share something. And uh, you see someone saying, thank you, I've welcomed it, but I won't come. Thank you, close this the door. What did he do? He fought. He fought. Almost, he did not first kneel down to pray for them, to beg for them to fast. No. He stood and fought. What does this mean? Sasaku, as a group, as Chambogo SDHS, there is a time when we have to stand and fight. There is a time when we have to sit. And agree, be like, no, this this thing we shall take this way. And because it has refused doubt. You have to stand for your faith. You have to stand for your church beneath they say, uh -uh. be like, no, I belong to Sasako and I will serve it. Amen. Jesus did not kneel down to pray to them. No, he knew this was the house of the Father. If you don't fight for, for your faith, money are gonna do well. There's no one who will afford it, you know. So now, today, as we continue, there is what we call a calling. There is no, you know, living a life of purpose it does not only really come from uh, no you come and you come, be like, I think I should study, I should go to Chambogo and study social sciences or engineering. No, before you were made, there is something that was put in you. And you, you have you ever seen a car factory that doesn't, that does not, that does produce a car which is not finished? It is not there. That means that before you were created you as a person, God first made you, started the journey and finished it and said it's a person responsible, then you entered in. Meaning you are a finished product. You are a finished product that now you are just fulfilling what was planned along your way. That troubles you pass through is, is what we are supposed to pass through. Now the question is, why are you doing that course you're doing? If at all, you like it. Why are you doing that job? In the morning you wake up, bathe, eat breakfast, go in a taxi, you sit with people you don't like, but you have to go to an office, you reach in the office, there's an accountant where yesterday she, she gave me a small allowance, you don't want to look at her, but you have to sit in the office because you are an employee, you sit, you work. But the question is, why are you doing that job? Have you discovered your calling? What is the what's your calling as an individual? I might be here saying, 
I do valuation survey, but you find it's not even my calling. And you should I tell you one of the signs of something not being your calling? Being, being, uh, studying life. For example, you're studying. Find it like your life is based on, your exam passing, based on copying. <laughs> it's on copying. Just, that is the first sign. That the course you're doing, first of all, you don't feel it. But because we are in a generation where you have to study, you have to come and reach the people. Of course, all of the ways, first of all, you, you are sure you won't find the right things, maybe they are. So you have to put the Takachi like in your pocket and you have to copy. So as long as it comes into your mind, no, that's, there is a problem somewhere. Your calling, the calling, the course of your calling, you don't copy. Even if you fail, you don't feel intimidated, no. You, you are sure that there is something that they are, you are trying to get out of it. You need to learn and, and understand it. So people who go there today, let us agree. Check if it's your calling. If that course is not your calling, but finish, then go and look for your calling. <laughs> go and look for your calling. I have, I have a friend, he did textile engineering. And then after doing textile engineering, he had no idea about what was going on. He didn't finish. And he came. He said, like, sugar is for change. He went and did civil engineering diploma after doing it. He didn't feel it. By the day he came to education and studied education, he was teaching us mathematics. The other person, the other teacher had got a calling in teaching. <laughs> you, don't know how, you don't know how it means by your calling. Even if you, you try to, uh, to look like this, to like this, the calling will still, still tell you, please, I mean, you, you are supposed to become. A pastor. You're supposed to become a doctor. You're supposed to become a teacher. You don't. That's all. Those are the things we do. Is so to discover your body. You took in one. You have two people. There is that one who was saying, one day we will die snooping. Then this man was saying, yes, but every other day we will. We will live. I don't. Know, I don't want to know whom would you go with. But I want to ask you ask, to ask yourself, who are you in these two people? <laughs> who are you? The one who be like, ah. anyway, one day we shall die, eh? even if I eat whatever I eat, even if I want to go to church, even if, ah, techi, techi kwa makuru. I don't have to. And there is this, a friend of mine, she's a girl, she told me, you know, by the way, I'm not going to heaven. I'm like, whoa. I'm like, by the way, it's like, why are you saying you want to go to heaven? It's like, I told my friend, I'm like, I, I, she told some friend of hers and he said, I'm like, I don't to go to heaven. And the friend of her said, Why are you afraid? I'm also not going. <laughs> I'm not also going. And even I have a friend who is not also going. What? So he's telling me that we shall follow God. <laughs> but she did not get contented with the answer, though she was in that category. <laughs> she did not. <laughs> and then she called me and told her, The way you look at things is the way how things change you. And I asked her, Why do you think you're not going to heaven? She says, I'm a you not being in a place where every day you have to pray. Every day you have to pray. And that's what he expects. She expects in heaven. <laughs> every day she says I'm a burden. And I told you, I told her, when you change the way you look at things, even things you look at me, who will change? That is what will happen. So to be the church, we must live the life of purpose amid century through following our calling. We have to follow this time when we say, but every other day we will live. At this end, you have a reason why you have to why you live. At that engineering conference, that students who came at our building and committed suicide. And when we were reading the notes, like you don't know what it means to find that you have lost hope. It's so, so absurd. It was so, so absurd. You guys get? And so, on that, I want to be more talk. Perhaps you, I think you saw those movies. He was, he was a, a graduate of an engineering course. And for you, that, I wish I had become an engineer. You must have an idea about it. You don't have an idea about it. So, far, you are going here, but it's in you. Yeah, it's in you. I love it. I appreciate it. He was in my time to become a media person. Maybe he did he studied education. After I was in Dubai, he won't be going like this. It's recording. He was supposed to become a media person. He went the wrong way. 
Why is it staggering? Why don't we have an energy to fight for it? So, in these tribulations we have, there is something we call hope. And it's where I drafted uh, my key text. It is uh, from 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 9. This was Paul. Paul had moved various churches. He had wrote very, much, very many, very many letters. But by the way, I want to ask. When we are reading letters of the Bible, how should we, the books like that were written by Timothy, how should we read them? According to me, I think you should be saying, this is the second letter that was written to Timothy, is it? Or it's uh, whatever we shall call it. Now, in our high school, when you could receive someone stands here later, and now as in the next school, you know, in Shaka Rangers College, it's not a single school. Now it was a mixed semester school, so we go to get interest from getting letters from Guaranyanti girls, Maryville, maybe those neighborhood school which were singles and maybe. Now when you could get that letter and they come, they give it to you. First of all, you first prepare, first see what is inside. You don't read it at that moment. No! You keep it. First read your prep. And, that, and I remember one day there is a prep I read and I, I got everything that was in that book. I got it. I was waiting to see what was in that letter. And uh, at the after prep, I have, I have never extended, but that night, I made an extension. <laughs> I made an extension, and I had to go and like, I opened the letter, and I read the letter. It was nice to be here, hope in the tribulation. I'm trying to say, how about we be? So, he said, do your best. Now, this Paul was writing to Timothy, and he was writing to him, explaining the condition. Paul was reaching his life to an end, and he said, do your best to come to see me, for, to come to see me soon, for Demas, in love with the present world, has deserted me and gone to Thessalonica. Have you heard? This Demas was a man who used to move with Paul in Thessalonica. They had done nice. They had moved, but time came, and Dema fell. He moved out of the he and he went to Thessalonica. You know, there is this scenario that happened last year, I think about last year, that uh, the little Ganga Khan church, the Archbishop, when he, like, what happened, you remember, isn't it? So that thing that happened, people had to say, how can an Archbishop fall like this, be caught in a lot, something like that. And uh, when people were making judgment, I sat and realized, you don't know how, the, the devil can sit and make a plan for you. A, a devil can sit and make a counsel, even if you are a chorister, even if you are a bishop, it can make a meeting and it, it becomes successful. So if it can do that, then this is demon. He has moved with, with uh, Paul for long, but Paul is right. And this is the last time Paul was writing about his. It is the last time in the Bible we had to talk him about the devil. When you fall from church, you don't come back. Because if it's not your calling, expect to fall. So, he said, alone, look alone. He's left with me. I, what is Chris Paul? 
It's just power wrong. You, you read for me, and I hear something. And I hear something. You know? Is there any other microphone? Yeah, but I have a power and I share to You read. Tell a book with a funde and juma. A half of a denim, a half of funde and see a baby, and see Jerome, Yata at the Seronica. Yaza Gayati, Natito Yaza, Delemuti, look away, can you wait and see and see it now? I mean, a woman. She's talking in a microphone. In, uh, when I read, by the way, when I read the Bible, I don't know whether, whether you people like reading Bibles in your language, eh? but when you read from my language, you should understand it more. I <laughs> should understand it more. Eh? And by the way, don't, don't go much on English. I should speak correct English when I'm alone. <laughs> There's someone who plans. We talked about a calling, we talked about a purpose. When you don't look at your calling and purpose, sometimes you might be left uh, behind. There is a chicken, there's a story that you talked about the chicken, an eagle, an eagle. It, it, someone got in the egg of an eagle and brought it home, and it was hatched with, uh, with the chicken and it grew. So when it grew one day, as they were Okay, that's the ego of scratching soil. It's just the, the ego asked. But I'm seeing people who, who look like me, like birds who are like me. Where they are, why are for us? Why am I here? And why are we here? And uh, do you know the mother chicken, what she say? For those we are created to be there, for us we are created to be here. And an ego grew reached the time of death when it was still when it was still scratching the soil it was an ego it had no powers but the mentality that was brought in it when it was born the people around you can influence that ah uh, go for you you know you know you're so good you know you're so good the other side no 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 you don't don't please and that's why I and that's why I uh, talked about this. This when I was, she, you know, she, she used to be silent and that me, she would come and let people come, extended, you know how she did. You know, people come and extend in front. <laughs> so, thank you so much. But at least when I go back home, I can be like, when you go to Chambogu, my friend, there is someone. I wish I knew to someone. So, but there is someone who is planning. There is someone who is planning about whatever the strength you develop to remain in charge. The, 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 the strength, the, the, you, you get from this person who is really saying, let us use our successful and proven methods of interacting the target enemy commission, <laughs> enemy communication. Let us use our successful and proven methods of interacting target enemy communication. Who do you think this person, who is this person saying these words? If you can think. It is called Lucy Fast Fives. You know, the devil also wrote the book. Now, now, they are also written it about the devil. The, the, the. Now, this is, I'm not even from page 105. It's called Lucy Fast Fives. Yes. 
you know it? Yeah. Very good. Yeah. You have it. I also have one in my own library. So, they said, they said, let us use our successful and I want you to say, they were saying, let us use our proven methods. Huh? Uh -huh. When the devil has proven that the method works, you know that it has to be for everyone. It has, and, and what, what does he continue to say? He says, and the devil says, now these are the methods that the devil says it proves, but we have the chance that today we are going to make it. Yes, there are only four. He didn't go much that he made the research about that. He has come with one, the first one. So, no, no, before he says, he says, when the devil now took it to his people say, when did they communicate with the enemy? Now the devil is saying the whole day. When did they communicate with the enemy? They get to know him. When did they know him? When did they know him? They love him. And when did they love him? We lost them. He is surprised that he, we, that he has lost us. And uh, the devil did something here that usually creates in us. That, clear, that, means, that photo is not clear, but he's trying to portray it. And when the devil comes, it gives you masks. But when you're in the church, put in this, this mask. Now when you're outside, when you put cucumber, it gives you various masks to put on when you're in different areas. And that is one of the signs that the devil uses. That when you're in church, ah, oh, put this, go and go and go and preach. When you come back, we, come, we go back to mission. We have a lot to do. <laughs> so, so, but now, the first one, the first method is said business, to be busy. Say, Keep the right zone, the target so full of other things that they have no time for communicating with the enemy. This is the, the, the first method that has proved to be successful on the devil's side. Now when you look at yourself, look at the time you usually be busy. Look at the time you usually be busy. Hello? Uh, we have a uh, midweek fellowship. Ha. Now we Nansa na kami. Imagine someone, they are telling him to come and he's like, Nansa, can you reach him from Nansa in, one, in 10 minutes? He's giving, like, we are always busy. Even when there is a meeting, a executive meeting, oh, we are always busy. And he, the, the devil said, ah, to our malada, just keep their lives. The targets of the, of the, of the, keep the targets so full of other things that they have no time for communicating with the enemy. And you know what that means, eh? When, the, now when technology came, now things change. We can be, I, I, I can be here, the preacher can be preaching, or you are in a meeting, but 70% of people in the congregation, they are online. They are all online, so... And, uh, <laughs> now, Robert Einstein, when he looked at this, he feared it. Robert is Albert Einstein. He said, I fear the day that technology will surpass our human interaction. The world will have a generation of idiots. <laughs> so, idiots in Uganda. Is it? Are we Is it? <laughs> I, oh, uh, idiots. In Uganda. Left from Tumen. Is it? I don't know. But, but I think it is. Those idiots, you know, yeah? No, and you know when English came, you know, we don't have, we have, they don't have chakora because we cannot change the system that made us. So, but at least you have understood. He was trying to, that when technology came, ha, things changed people. Yes, things changed and, uh, but I hear, I, I got this and don't let technology blind and consume you. Leaving your purpose, leaving your purpose, following your calling. What you see? When it is your calling, even if you're on technology, you're on technology, the world will hear you. You remember when Jesus was at 12 years, was in judge's head, when he said, where are you? He was like, won't you leave me and I will do the, the work of my father? At the 12 years, your purpose can, you call him when you discover it when you're young. You know, you know, fresh kid, how old is he? Discovering his talent, the world hears him. The world welcomes him. The world, you know, when you're in, so that means there is something that we haven't done if we haven't discovered our calling. And uh, that when technology is one of the things that is making us busy, by the way, I want us to grow to approve on this. Then, uh, the second method that has proved to be able to be 
what is discouragement. I don't know how many times you have been discouraged, but you say, perhaps the most people in our assembly convince the target that pursuing spiritual life is impossibly difficult, that it doesn't work, that their sins are proof that they are failures. Imagine. Look at your soul. When you're discouraged, there's a time the devil has is in you and he's trying to make sure at that tribulation time. It removes your, your, removes your, 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 your take away from you from the calling. And uh, the story has said about a man in Texas. I don't know whether you have ever come across it. This man was a farm. These people who keep cattle, a lot of he has a big land in, in Texas. And this person drought, drought came, and as, as his animals started to to die, and he was like, oh, what do I do? What do I do, really? What do I do? At this moment, what do I do? He persisted, but animals kept on dying. And then when he was there, he heard that in another city, they had discovered oil. So what he did, he had to say, he said, let me say, I believe. He had to be, but they say his farm was worth 70, 70 million dollars. But he sold it 31 to get, that, to get out of that area. And when he went, he was there, he started working, things did go well. Now the person who bought there remained there. He's also animals suffered, eh? suffered, suffered, but he persisted, he suffered. Then later he was like, why can't I create dams? Why can't I dig for boreholes? And uh, he dug boreholes. And when he had dug boreholes, along the way, he discovered things which were sticky, sticky, things like oil. And when he went to technicians, they proved to him that this was oil. The man who has struggled, he broke, he thought that, oh, what do I, what do I do? Digging in the ground for the oil. And now he became a very rich man. Now this news came along the whole of America and he reached in Texas. And it came to that person who had sold it some few years. And the story ends like this. This man was from the market. The one who had sold, who was in the, who had left. Where he was on the road going. When this news came to him about what had happened, he fell from the horse and fell down and got a heart attack and died. Discouragement. Discouragement. He was discouraged that his land may be. He would find there was even his church. He left it. People, we have, I have a friend in Karamoja, where she was like, oh, even if I become an Adventist, you know in Karamoja we don't have churches. And I was looking at someone and I how, 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 how? So it means people who are there, we still have a lot of, what do I say? We still have a lot to do as seven day Adventist church. And we still the younger generation. So this, uh, this, uh, this discouragement has come. You get a partner, you get a friend, a friend. Oh, you are in a relationship and it ends in tears. And of one, you're sure. Well, you know when it ends in tears. These days, by the way, now it no longer ends in tears, it ends in flood. Ay, 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 ay. Wake up someone whom you were calling and you were talking. Ah, that's how you are. So, sometimes it's not the people who change, it's the mask that does what? That falls off. People who interact with don't expect a lot from people, no. Love them, care for them, but don't expect a lot. Anytime things come, change, and discouragement will come. And when it comes, just know, go away. The devil has taken your life. So the third one is trouble. Hit them hard, and then get them to blame the enemy for their troubles. Convince them that if the enemy loved them, he would not let these things happen to them. And this is the thing that usually happens to us, trouble. Things come and hit you, you get a dead ear, you're sick. You get sick, you get sucked from the job. And I remember one of my friends, he's a big man by the way, but he fears in the three sentence word. The day the boss comes and looks and says, that way, he, he, he doesn't fear any other words around. But he said, that way I fear the word. When the, when the, when the owner of the company come and said, you are fired. <laughs> he said, you are? Uh, he fears that word. That's one of the troubles, because, so, but then, in this trouble, there is some part we have to pray as people. Someone can get trouble, it's true, the devil can put you under, under his uh, temptation and maybe fall. 
that man was a prisoner, but I said, don't be a reason why someone needs down and cry to God. Some tears are what? Are dangerous. We sometimes were the people who create these things to our friends, priests, priests. It is one of the ways that the devil that has proved to the devil that it works and it works very well. So is diversion. Diversion. Say, shift their attention away to the entertainment, leisure, pursuits, money making, or else, as long as it becomes a higher priority than getting to know the enemy. Diversion. We have diverted. Most of us who spend most of our time have course works. And I don't know by the way when we reach in heaven how it will be. In heaven. In heaven. Not be in heaven. And for you, what you need is tourists be roaming around. And in, in, in maybe my train in heaven, there is gardens, there is everything, but still you want to want to work for money. Want to <laughs> And uh, there is some there is something by the iPhone. I, I discovered it when I was at Garden Land Commission. I don't know if any of you know who works there. But at Land, at Land Commission, you usually see newspapers, land registry, it's something like that. Ah, something I saw was like, ah. the day these people will go to heaven, you will find them talking to, to Judas Sekariota, how much are you giving me? Yeah? <laughs> they are, you know, you, you know, Corruption, some people, I'm not saying they, 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 they I'm saying some, to become part of their life. That to get, to help you get your land title, maybe you are doing, uh, some, uh, some of us will be doing title searches about for, and has already arranged for us at the church. It's already, you know, trouble will hit you. It knows, when you're busy, you will be his side. You know, when you're discouraged, you'll be his side. You know that when you're diverted. So what do we have to do as a church? We have to fight together. You see that calling in you, that calling in you, that you are calling. You see when the devil is coming, uh-huh, the devil, the way it comes. Anyway, let me not go there. But we have to fight as a group. When this executive group of Sasako goes, the one that comes in, it needs to be motivated. But you are an executive, you don't leave a report. So where are people who come? Where will they start from? Where will they? And uh, some things, you look at them and be like, ah, but I'm happy that the good the, the people who came before us, I'm so, so happy that you left something. At least we have a template where we can drop from and then we have a game. Amen. That's really grand for you. I, 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 I wish you to know the plans of the devil. God has a nice plan for you. But the devil, God has a good plan for you. But the devil, his plans, and you don't know how they come. You don't know. I was, I, I attended. No, 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 But uh, I'm sorry, I attended one of the Senate meetings with one of our deans. Our deans knows that. It was online. And uh, you know, sometimes you can see some, some secrets. It's not only secret. So, <laughs> but this, this is what we saw here. So, when you are, when you are talking, <laughs> so when you are talking about, they were, this issue of copying, eh? You know, when you look at the repercussions they are putting, maybe she wants to have representative, maybe so else, maybe so everywhere, Tamboko has representatives. And I was there with the lead who in the office on the, on the computer, saying, I'm going to be a student leader, come and see. If you don't take to your students, what will happen to them? If they're not vigilant, what will happen to them? And the list who are brought, they could bring your name, they bring Kenneth. When we talk to him, you would hear, Someone who is representing or representing Cham Chamboko in Ministry of Health is saying, let that, let that one be suspended from Chamboko University for two years. The person is in here for And uh, the whole meeting happened and some students were chased. Even the guild president was talking about it. He said, like, please forgive them for this. There's a course I think it comes from that side. Of, I, think of food and, I don't know. There's a that department and the whole class. They told them to repeat the whole year. The whole class. They copped from the first semester and then they made report, they made report, they give them they gave them their penalty in the second. So they the, the smallest penalty I saw was they, to, to, for you to be cancelled the semester. 
Uh, just the same as the day. Cancel it, you will start afresh. That's the smallest. And what does this mean? Unless you're vigilant about your calling, it's like you get off from your hands. I saw, I was like, ah, what shall we do? You don't have an idea when you're doing, when the devil entered you and you get off as long as you fall. So, being vigilant. The Bible in 1 Peter said, so be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks like a rolling lion, seeing whom he may. You see, for us, eh? let me demonstrate something. You know, for, you know the, let me first start with the devil when he's coming. The devil comes like this. You, you're there, for you, let me say, what, what, what do you be doing? Let me say, for, the, the, for example, you're there, trying to go and examine. He comes slowly. <laughs> this is the devil coming, yeah? Then when it reaches on you, it's like, bro, you don't, you don't know, the, you don't, you don't know much. Keep that, that cheat in your, in your trousers. Keep it, keep it. Or some girls use these tight things. Eh? Put it inside. Put it, put it. Then you put it. Eh? And that's the devil. Now for us when we are coming, this is the devil coming. Bro. Then for us we are coming. Uh, we don't know where we shall meet the devil. <laughs> you can't. You don't know where you meet the devil. But the Bible says, be sober. Because your enemy, that your adversary, the devil walks like a rolling lion. It does not come. So we need to be vigilant. And in this, what does a real education teach? Real education is here, you say. Degree is just a paper. These are not my words. I got them from some of the books. Degree is not, it's just a paper. Real education is seen in behaviors. The way we do our things, the way we understand, reason out things, it will determine how our education is. You can look at someone, I have masters, I have a degree. Neither he does not even matter in society. He does not, there's nothing he has to tell you. Be like, really? But when you follow in that course you are doing, at the end of the day, what you want at the end of it, or that job you are doing, by the way, let me tell you, there are many things that we do in the course. You do a lot of course units, but you can find one course unit and it changes the entire your life. So, degrees just a separate education is here in the behaviors. And now, seeking knowledge and wisdom. You have to read. Every book that you read gives you a different key to your life and success. I want to thank the prepared the administration of Seventh day Adventist Church. There is a way it makes us they have books we read and whenever we read the way we keep reading we get more strength. So please I ask you to read some books about economy. You understand why things even they fail. So when we seek knowledge, one of the philosophers said this. This is the, in the words of poet evangelism say, on the sands of hesitations, raise the bones of countless mules. Who are the dawn of victory? Sat down and wait and waiting until they, they died. We might we are postponing sometimes we are postponing our things. Be like I will serve Sasaku when I'm in the final year. I will serve in the church when I'm in the, when I go to job, that's when I will have money. I will do this. But I want to tell you, there are many songs we haven't heard from you. There are many books we haven't got from you. There are many things, there are many advices we haven't got from you because you kept postponing. So, and at the end of the day we say, the minerals that are lost in the ground are not those ones we get from far, but the dreams of people that died before tackling them. There are four members at this moment. I would like you to look at the things you've been postponing. Maybe you might have not have worked on your calling. This man who started up for KFC, at the 60 years, wanted to commit to suicide. But he said, I learned cooking chicken. What do I do? He got some commanding that he had, he had given at the end of his uh, retirement. At 60, he retired. I mean, he just cooked the chicken and gave it out freely to his friends. And they said, Wow, this is amazing. He says, oh, it's amazing. And they said, cook another one. He cooked freely. And then at the end, they said, start a workshop. Start a, a, a chicken fry. Start some for restaurant. And that is how he grew right now with the video. After 75 years, he became a video. It's always not too late. Whatever you read about those books, they gave us hope. It's always not never too late. So before these things die in us, we have to. We have to. Oh, it's gone off, but it's okay. We have to do something. So, uh, I would like to 
tell this to you people that uh, the devil is ready. But we are good to go with uh, uh -huh. then the part of the bill church helping one person might not change the world. That's the last the, the last one, the last clip that was almost there. It was like helping one person might not change the world, but it might change the world for one for one person. People when you tell man some people got up there, baptized and I wish you could take some of their numbers and one of them is my friend. Can't wait to them. She's called Miriam. Yeah, she's there, she's sat there, she goes to baptize and I'm there. We call them bearer takers. Eh? Time to make sure I, I talk to her about it because she's new. Even me when I was new in this, I come from a, an Anglican church and my dad is a, is a church leader in Anglican church. But however he did like it, but later he appreciated it and he has no problem with it. So coming to him, taking his phone, talking to him in something she might undergo, you are trying to change the world for one person. Amen? Eh? And uh, I would like to end. Uh, by saying this, let us call our callings. Our callings are so so much great. Our callings are so so much great. Living life of purpose in tribulation times. We were, we shall know. We shall do this and that, but I'm sure at the end of the day we shall get what we came to do to do what? to get because we say that the greatest struggle is not death but living life without purpose. What does it to watch for to go? Hey uh -huh. <laughs> uh, still members whatever always remember that verse that says second Timothy chapter four verse nine Paul was crying saying he left me he left me please don't leave, leave the church. I want to thank my mentors, church elders. Some of them, sometimes I also undergo under stress and fall. But this is the people I run to and they are in the church. Amen? Amen. Call, call someone, talk and feel you're good. We have families now. Now the church is in our hands. Now the staff is there. You say, me, I feel comfortable. We go, 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 go. Why are you going to get in? Yes. You are sticker. So, members. I would like to thank the entire church, but I will call upon you to support the church, support Sasaku. Many things are coming. Mark Shivan was telling us many things are coming. We have to fight for whatever we have got because we are sure that uh, the world is no longer for people who work hard, but for people who work smart. So, members, at this moment, I would request all of you. Should I make a request? And the request is one. Decide and say, at least I will not run out from church. At least if church, although it is fat, Chambo, you might stay in well, if you stay in well, get it all fat. I will not run away. At least if I'm there, I will be in the church. Because we know many, many, many minerals have got away from, from the, have gone off to the people who, who, Yes, this is the last uh, I want to tell you. So many things have gone through. People have died with medicines, with many nice songs, books. And it's our time to shine. So you can help one, help one person might not change the world, but it changes the world for? Yes. And at the end of the day, Chambo is the church. I like it so much. Whatever I say at it, this is your church. We look at it, and at the end of the day, when we reach heaven, and I'm looking around and I see Pius, and I look around and I see Mark Sivan, and I look around and I see Mabonga, I will glorify his name. May God bless you. To God for using our servant to give us the bread of life for this afternoon. Without wasting any time, we are going to crown up the sermon with a closing song called Dragon Cross 159 SD 256 Bridge. Let us sing with love, passion, and enthusiasm as we prepare for the Lord's coming. Have a blessing.
let us pray. Almighty Heavenly Father, again, we come in your presence. We thank you for this moment. We request you, Lord, may you help us to discover our calling. May you help us amidst all this tribulation to be able to live life with purpose. Because before you created us, you know whatever we are going to pass through. We thank you for this day. We have a lot of things to talk about, but God, we thank you because you give us a chance to come in church and pray to you. And we know we are the winners. We dedicate our elders into your hands. Grace them because they are our mentors. At this moment, we are finishing. We have more programs of the day. Guide us as we meditate upon the words of discovering our callings in this world so that we are able to be appreciated to develop your kingdom, mostly through our, our, our association system. In the name of Jesus Christ.